So the topic of this lesson was comparing methods for solving linear systems. And Shar sent me in a question asking for help solving a set of linear equations. And I'm going to use her question as a background for our, our lesson here. She said that her problem was x plus y equals 4 and x minus y equals 5. And she was having trouble figuring out what the, you know, what the set of steps would be to get those two things solved at the same time. So what I'm going to do actually is look at solving this system of equations in more than one way so we can sort of discuss what the best method would be. The first thing to look at when you're, look, when you're going to solve a system of equations is to identify which of the three methods, whether you're using substitution, T-I-T-U-T-I-O-N, or elimination, or graphing, is which of those you're already starting off closest to. At least that's my sort of rule of thumb. To solve a system of equations by substitution, you need to have one variable or the other already solved. You need to have one, one equation or the other solved for one variable. So it needs to look something like y equals some number of x's, or x equals some number of y's. So if one of your equations already starts off this way, it's a pretty good bet that substitution is going to work pretty well. Now, neither of these two are, real, are starting out that way, although it would be pretty easy to just subtract x or add y to one or the other of these equations and get this situation. So substitution wouldn't be too hard here. For elimination, you need to have one variable that's opposite itself. So the, one of the variables need to be opposites. Yeah, so we need to have something like um, negative 2x plus y equals 3 and positive 2x plus y equals 7, where we have positive 2x and negative 2x, which are opposite each other. Now, in this equation set that you gave me, that is the case. We have a positive y and a negative y. So I'm going to guess that pretty early on here, elimination is probably going to be the easiest method for this particular set. Now for graphing, for me, the easiest way to graph is the slope-intercept form. So if you have y equals mx plus b, you already have one point right away. You know the y-intercept, and you already know the slope, m. So that makes graphing that really easy. If your two equations are in that form, then this is probably the easiest. Now in our example here, again, neither one of those are in that form, although, again, it would be pretty easy to do that just by moving x to the other side. So really, graphing would not be terribly hard, and substitution would not be terribly hard. But I think in this case, elimination is probably our best bet because one of the variables is already opposite itself. So let's do that. Let's use elimination. Um, let me get rid of this other information here real quick. Give us some space to work. There we go. And let's solve these two things for with elimination. So we're just going to write these directly on top of each other since one of the variables is already opposite. x plus y equals 4 x minus y equals 5. We'll add straight down. We have two x's. x plus x is 2x. y minus y is nothing. 5 plus 4 is 9. Divide both sides by 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. So x is 4 and a half. Then I can just plug that back into one of my equations up here. And I'll get 4 and a half plus y equals 4. Subtract 4.5 from both sides. And I get y equals 4 minus 4.5, which is negative 1 half. So then my pair of, of uh, values is x is 4.5, y is negative 1 half. And you can see that went pretty smooth once I knew which way to solve it I wanted to use. 